70 years ago this week, uh, on a Saturday afternoon, just like today, I witnessed the crash of uh, an aeroplane, Wellington HZ262. We were playing as usual across uh, towards the, the beach. Uh, we played up in a, a sandy bank above the, um, the lead mine, uh, looking down towards the diving pole. Uh, that area of water was always known as Joe's Harbour. It was the, um, the harbour from which the Lossy fishing fleet of three boats at the time uh, went out in 1806 and never came back, uh, leaving the entire village destitute. You can't uh, take a photograph from the same place because the county council went and gave somebody permission to build a house where we used to play. We were looking across the golf course area uh, when we watched a plane take off from the aerodrome and usually they would go out towards the sea. But this one was coming along in our direction. I would have thought it was coming towards us when suddenly a wing fell off. The starboard wing fell off. Now the rest of the plane continued to fly on and it landed in the sea. Uh, it landed out uh, where it's marked there. Uh, it was full tide so you can't see that in fact there are uh, there's a line of rocks there uh, and it had landed right at the end of one of the rocks, this one. The uh, plane uh, obviously uh, was severely damaged there and uh, the, the fuel came out and people then started to rush about and remembering that this was at high tide it was about 150, 200 yards out from, from the shore uh, people then started to try to uh, rescue the, the crew. The uh, the wing had fallen in the 17th fairway of the golf course. Uh, the plane had flown another 400 odd metres uh, to land at the edge of Joe's Harbour. As soon as uh, people gathered what had happened, uh, after a few seconds of, of amazement, uh, 20 men, two girls, tried to uh, go out to rescue. Their efforts were in vain because uh, it was a big enough swim to get out uh, the 200 yards or so uh, because most of them were still wearing their clothes. And the, um, the plane's fuel, of course, had uh, the fuel tanks had burst and uh, they were trying to swim out through uh, a, a surface of fuel. The newspaper account says that many holiday makers witnessed a remarkable scene in Lossiemouth Beach on Saturday afternoon when a plane crashed into the sea and over 20 men and two members of the Women's Auxiliary Air Force attempted to rescue the crew. All the crew and one of the men who went to their help lost their lives. The man who was lost was uh, uh, ironically, uh, an aeroplane fitter uh, who was up working in Lossie. Uh, he was from uh, the uh, Liverpool area and he drowned despite an effort to save him by my cousin John Stewart who had been working down in Glasgow and was just up on holiday. The, the men who were lost were Flight Sergeant Greg. Flight Sergeant Barry, beloved husband of Winifred, daddy of Margaret and Michael John, and Flight Sergeant Ed O'Dwyer, beloved son of Edmund and Aileen O'Dwyer of Methyl, Australia. I had the, the privilege of uh, being able to tell the O'Dwyer family from Australia how their Uncle Ed had died 
and to uh, tell them how to find the spot where the accident had occurred. And they came across to try to find out more information.